Oops. Go. I always have trouble coming in. Let's see. Hello. Happy Monday. How was your weekend? I hope good. How was your Monday? <laughs> I hope good. It is Monday, May 1st. I can't believe it's May. Where is the time flying to? Hello. Hey, Kim. How are you? You're a little more awake now, I hope. <laughs> it's getting to be your hour. <laughs> your hours, your late night hours. <laughs> hey, Lori, how are you? Thanks for coming in. How was your weekend? Kim, how was your weekend? Was bad weather? Because it looks like these storms that have been moving all around have been pretty bad for everybody. Um. My week, my weekend was good. It just went fast. Not really. Well, that's good. And you didn't have bad weather. Um, my weekend was pretty good. I didn't do a whole lot, but they they always seem to go so fast. <laughs> you know, we want more weekend time. So Monday, um, I thought Monday today was going to be pretty calm. I, I'm uh, but I'm always hopeful that Mondays are going to be calm. I, I can't say it was calm, but <laughs> I've had worse Mondays, so I'll, I'll, it was okay. I survived. It was okay. Um, well, I was reading an article online um, about Carnival considering to make some changes. Um, I know they're always considering to make changes. All the, all the uh, cruise lines are considering making changes. But they were basically talking about making changes so that um, people have space. You work weekends, so pretty crappy at bad weather Saturday. Oh, good. Yeah, good that you weren't driving in it, Lori. That's good. Yeah, I saw some some pictures. Hey, Tamika, I saw some pictures on the um, the news. I don't know where in Florida that was, but the, with cars being flipped over because of the the high winds and rains that looks terrible man oh you were you were talking about the awake part you're still not awake <laughs> oh i'm sorry the weather the weather was bad but yeah it looks like it was it was bad for lots and lots of people um so anyway, this article is talking about um, making changes or people being interested in the cruise um, ships, making space for them. <laughs> hey, cousin law, thanks for saying hi. <laughs> hi back to you. Um, making changes so that it's easier for people people to be able to work on board the cruise ships. So I was kind of like, huh? <laughs> I want to go and be totally um, lots of yard cleanup. Oh yeah, I blew up a, a big mess, huh? It's it's May and it's a little bit early to be thinking about. Well, I guess not early. You could be preparing for hurricane season, but I don't want to be thinking about those kind of storms um, just yet. But the season is coming, whether we like it or not. So the, the name of this article, and this is on, uh, it's called The Street, but it's an online publication um, for travel. And it's talking about, or the name of the article is Carnival Cruise Line Considers a First of Its Kind Onboard Change. Some passengers have asked for this and some are horrified by it. So apparently when the cruise lines um, are taking polls and, or on social media. Some people will ask questions about the internet um, packages, which, you know, makes sense. But this says at least a few people um, lecture others to put their phones down because they're on vacation. 
Um, some people, of course, like to totally disconnect while others consider using their phones to play games, watch videos, and post pictures to social media. And of course, some people need connectivity for personal and work reasons. Um, yeah, okay, I'm with you. I'm with you so far, but not everyone can board a corner, Carnival Cruise Line or Royal Caribbean ship and leave their regular life behind. Some people need to keep in touch with family on land, while others work that needs to be done, even though they are on vacation. Um, so are you guys, you know, it's very common for for people to get the, the internet now, like they said, for, you know, they want to stay in touch. They want to, um, you know, do their social media, play games, stream videos or whatever. But do you think about having the, um, hello, Steve and Tina. Yes. This is Elisa. This is Elisa's Adventures in Cruising. <laughs> um, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Lori says she's always prepared for hurricane season. Lots of water, propane, and bug spray. Yeah, definitely with you on the, on the water. And I'm not a I'm not a griller, but I always make sure I have charcoal in case we don't have power and have to fire up something. Um, on on a grill um you believe a vacation is meant to regroup i agree hey bud files how you doing thanks for coming in okay steve and tina you just you were just checking <laughs> yes it is it is me <laughs> um yeah i think i think vacations are are, are especially cruises are it's like the perfect way to be able to disconnect, um, you know, because you can't access your phone, you can't access your emails. Um, but, you know, I also know things, lots of things have changed during the pandemic. And when people got back uh, to cruising, they were able to work from remotely from wherever and if they could um sign on to the wi-fi on board they they would work and i guess you know it saves you on your your vacation time and um you still get to go on a cruise ship so um lori says the propane is for coffee you have to <laughs> you 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 can be without power but not without coffee well, I'm. You're not alone. You're not alone. I I never caught the the coffee bug, but I know plenty of people need their caffeine. <laughs> they need their coffee to make it through just about anything. Um, you did quick question mark by mistake. So no, no worries. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. <laughs> um. So, yeah, so I know during the pandemic, people who have, you know, started working from remote locations or because they they work remotely, they just grabbed their laptop or whatever and, and headed to um, wherever they wanted to go. And so I guess that's made its way to cruise ships. Now, I, I hear and I'm, I, I watch a lot of um, blogs now and I've met people who ha also have channels. And so they're like recording or going live um, for, for their channel, their YouTube channels. But otherwise, I'm just curious how much, how many people need to work when they're on a cruise ship? Um, do you guys think you could be productive while you're on a cruise ship doing your regular, well, it does, first of all, I guess, do your jobs allow um, you to be able to work pretty much anywhere as long as you have internet. And then if you are in a remote location, like, like a cruise ship, do you want to be doing double duty? Um, Lori says, yes, now people work remotely, but vacation is there to get a refresh. That's why companies pay vacation time. Yeah. You, I feel like it's a total escape and you need to, be able to have your downtime and to 
you know, regroup, maybe relax, hopefully have a whole lot of fun <laughs> and do some things that you, you um, wouldn't ordinarily get to do or see some things you wouldn't ordinarily get to see. So I, I don't want the internet for work purposes. <laughs> um, so, okay, so the, you know, having the internet, that's great. And if they're gonna have the internet on, people want to have it as high a speed as they can, a good a connection as, as they can, um, so that they can stream or, you know, their social media or whatever. But this article is going on to talk about how um, they people want more than just um, the internet. They want a workspace. You burn out fast without downtime. Yeah, I agree. Hey, De Destination Fun, how are you doing tonight? Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, so yeah, this article is talking about uh, it, it goes on to say cruise ships don't really have places for people to work. The desk in your cabin often comes with a backless chair or stool and the space is tight at best. In addition, with improving onboard Internet makes attending a video uh, meeting easier. A regular cabin has no place where your bed would not be in the camera shop. That may not be a problem for everyone, but it's one that's likely to grow as the lines between work and home continue to blur. Thank, oh, thank you so much, because I never remember to ask people to hit that like button. I appreciate the reminder. Thanks, guys. I think everybody that's in the chat right now is already subscribed to the channel, but if you're not, while you're hitting that like button, if you can hit the subscribe as well, I would really appreciate it. Good looking out, Sherry, thanks. <laughs> um so yeah so okay so the cabins are not huge unless you're lucky enough to be in a a big suite where you'd have a designated space yes they have a table or you know that little desk area that they're talking about with the stool so you could you know set up a laptop i guess um and and work if you wanted to do that but would you be productive, do you think? Um, Lori says, for the cruise vloggers, it would benefit, it, but why would you cruise on vacation for work? That's what I'm asking you guys. Would you? <laughs> if you had the chance to take it on, well, I was going to say take it on the road, take it on the, take it on the sea, <laughs> take it on the ocean, would you? Would you do that? I don't think so. I don't think I would. Now, I know sometimes you're like, you know, things come up or you're, you're, you wish you had more vacation time than you actually have. And so you want to work, work <laughs> from another location. But, um, okay, Sherry says, I would want to work if I took a transatlantic. I would work on my sea days. Okay, because that's a long trip. <laughs> that's a that's a long trip. You might be able to to uh, get some stuff done on your sea days, where it's leisure. You know, it's really downtime. Although I just don't imagine, even on the transatlantic um, crossings, that there's nothing that you would want to be doing. There isn't something else you would rather be doing besides work. So. If you even if it's just sitting on the on a deck for a, a little while watching the watching the ocean, getting some sun, I, I don't want to have to go <laughs> inside <laughs> and work while I'm on the cruise ship. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think I would want to do that. So they're they're talking about okay, so there's no there's no real space in the the cabin. Um, for cruisers who might need workspace. So they're kind of asking if people would be interested in having more of a designated space. So I don't know if they're, they mean setting up some <laughs> office space somewhere um, so that people can come in and kind of plug into a, a, a cubicle of some sort. 
<clears throat> uh, or or what so that they can work. Um, you wouldn't want to burn all your PTO days. I would want to save for other cruises. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. I can see that not wanting to, to burn all, all your time. I guess I just hope, I mean, I don't think I'm ever really going to be able to fully retire, but I would like to hope that I'm going to have time <laughs> to do that at some point and not and not have to be worried about PTO days, you know? Um, okay, what's Lori saying? You, you want to save, yes, you, I agree. You want to save some time for the other cruises. So do you like, do you guys do um, shorter cruises or do you all do a week long? Um, I know a lot of people like to do the three, four, five day cruises so that they're not using as much vacation time. And I'm always thinking, I want to take, Seven days at least, but I really want to go longer. Um, Lori says, if I had a remote job, maybe yes. I'm a sleeper on cruise, so it would be, be hard to work and still have fun. Yeah. Hey, Edna, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Yes, Edna, what do you think? Do you want to work when you're on a cruise ship? Do you want not only good internet connection, but a designated workspace so you can get stuff done. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I like the idea of being able to unplug. Um, it seems like, I mean, I guess everybody's idea of fun is different, right? So, or maybe you're trying to bring somebody on who's not used to um, just disconnecting um, and so they they still need to to be able to work, but that seems kind of off brand for Carnival, <laughs> the fun ship. I don't work on vacation aside from vlogging. Yeah, uh, I mean I haven't been um, well on my last cruise. I my channel was still pretty new. I couldn't go uh, live yet, and so I was just recording everything to come back home and um, um, do my vlogs. But um, I know a lot of people like to go live. People like to do editing um, when they're on and so they can post their, their videos right away. So yeah, I kind of I kind of understand those folks um, wanting a space, but I don't know that they would want an office. You know what I mean? I don't want an office on the cruise ship while, so I can make cruise vlogs. <laughs> Well, that might be just me. <laughs> um, but I have heard people um, say, um, like, it's hard to find a quiet spot. They want to they want to get some some videos out. They they the Internet was, you know, finally working well and they wanted to upload some stuff. You have to have a reliable Internet. Yeah, absolutely. You um, they wanted to get some videos posted or whatever. And. Um, just trying to find a quiet space to sit and do that was too difficult um, or not too difficult, but difficult. And so they were constantly sort of moving around because, of course, the venues are going to get used. There's going to be, you know, somebody setting up to play some music or to do a trivia game or whatever. All of the activities that you usually come on board for. <laughs> so. I just think it's I just think it's interesting that people would want to go on the ships and work. Um, Lori says she prefers longer cruises, but hubby likes the four or five days out of Jacksonville. Okay, it's a forty minute trip to to the port for you. Yeah, that's convenient. That is convenient. <laughs> so Edna, if you so you don't want a cubicle on a cruise ship. <laughs> you don't want to find a room. Uh, let me see where they're talking about it. Finding a quiet space for a call or a meeting can be a challenge. Sometimes you can find a bar or venue that's closed during the day, but bars don't always offer the best background for your video call. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> In addition, on Royal Caribbean ships, the Diamond Lounge, a space reserved for top tier loyalty members can be quiet during the middle of the day, but most passengers cannot access that because they don't, they're not diamond members. Um, 
Carnival does does not have a loyalty lounge, which removes one option for working passengers. Uh, the cruise lines ambassador, brand ambassador John Heald, recently addressed the issue of providing a workspace on ships on his Facebook page. I had a request this morning for us to have a designated space, cubicles, et cetera, for people to be able to work while on cruise. Um, I'm not sure that this is something we've considered, so please let me ask what you think. And so he gives three choices. A, yes, I do have to work when I'm on a when I'm on cruise, so I will this would be a good fit for me. B, I do work sometimes when I'm on a cruise, but I do not need a specific space to be able to do so. And C, I never work when I'm on a cruise. So no, ma no ma'am, I'll pass. <laughs> I love that. And uh, I'm with you. No, thank you. <laughs> Who's <laughs> I don't know one of the one of the vloggers kids like no thank you <laughs> I think that's little Janelle no thank you <laughs> I'll pass I'll pass um, uh, it's clearly a charge issue as Heald's poll garnered nearly four thousand comments in the first two hours it was posted um. No work for me, just fun, fun, fun. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if you have to like, you know, I mean, everybody has 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 different jobs, right? But they all require some <laughs> some level of concentration. Can you imagine you're typing along? <laughs> you know, you're typing along, and then when you get back the next you know, the next week or whenever you get back to real work and you're like, why was I typing the lines to, you know, all the lyrics to <laughs> the Cupid Shuffle? <laughs> I mean, I just think that the crossover would be, I wouldn't be able to concentrate. I'm sure there's something that I would rather be doing or all the work that I brought with me on board would just be in its you know, it, in the same state, it wouldn't be done by the time I got off. So um, I don't think I need that, but apparently um, people have been asking for it. And I don't think these are all vloggers. I think these are people who are, <clears throat> excuse me, really trying to get some work done. Now, I, I know that the um, some of the ships have like, um, business space, convention type space um, for big groups coming on. Um, I've only seen them take over like a theater or um, I've not seen like a boardroom set up, but I, I have heard other people mention that, that on some of the ships. So, you know, if you're there for some kind of conference or meeting or something like that, maybe, maybe you, you do need that. I, I don't know. Not for me. Um, okay, still it says, as someone lucky enough to cruise, excuse me, often, I notice sometimes awkwardly people who are working, but who clearly would appreciate dedicated workspaces. Cruise ships usually have some underused space. Many have conference rooms that are rarely used. Carnival, Royal Caribbean, and any other cruise line could likely charge a small fee for access to a business center. This space could offer small rooms for video meetings and generally quiet environment with desks and proper chairs. I've gone into the libraries before. <laughs> they seem like a very nice, cozy, quiet place to sit and read your book. And the couple times that I've gone into the libraries, well, one, you know, sorry guys, but my, my seasickness usually kicks in then. I can't, I want to be able to sit and read for hours, <laughs> but I can't do it. <laughs> so I have to put the book down um, and come out of there. So that I probably couldn't, I probably, there you go. I wouldn't be able to work anyway. I wouldn't be able to read for long periods of time while I'm, while I'm moving along. I'd be sick. There's my out. There's my out. I can't do it. <laughs> can't work while I'm on a, 
on a cruise ship. <laughs> um, but what I was going to say was I've gone into the, in the library, sat down and tried to read and went like, oh, uh, this is not going to work. And then I rather go um, uh, on, on the deck and um, catch some views or catch some sun or just see what everybody is up to. Uh, I can't imagine being held up in a little um, workroom or, or cubicle or something trying to get some work done. But it may be coming to cruise ships near us soon if other lots and lots of people are asking for it. I don't know. Um, in addition, as both cruise lines have worked to improve their onboard internet service, they could make sure the office space has a strong connection. Yeah, because cruise ship internet is satellite based, its quality varies depending on where on the ship you are located. A business lounge with a more reliable connection would be worth adding, be, would be worth an added fee for people trying to get some work done so they can get back to having fun. I don't, I don't, I don't know those people. <laughs> right, Mika, we don't, we don't, no, we don't know those people. You, you can have, you, you just go there for the fun. Um, not try to get some work done and then squeeze in the fun. <laughs> that seems wrong. Oh well, I thought that was I thought that was kind of interesting. And then as I was um, typing the title, I thought, oh well, that could actually mean working on a cruise ship. Like, would you guys ever want to work on a cruise ship? Did you ever think about working on a cruise ship as a as a crew member? Um, I think for half a second, <laughs> back in the in in my younger days, I thought about that because also. Um, Club Meds, are Club Meds still around? Anybody know? Um, Club Meds were also very um, popular and I knew people um, going to work for them. And so I thought it would be pretty similar where you're, you know, you, you have this fun job and you're getting to travel and stay all these cool places. So for half a second, I thought about um, that could be a cool job, but not seriously because you guys already know why. Um, Lori says there are quiet spaces on all ships, but not always the best internet. Yeah. Yeah. I know they are, you know, they're working on that. They're working on the internet and I keep, keep hearing about, um, the Starlink and how it, how it's so much better and people really, um, like that as a, as internet connection. Um, but again, that comes as a charge. <laughs> Um, and you, I would imagine, have to pay for the premium internet package if you're really trying to get some some work done. So, is it worth it to you? You know, part of the thing that I like about cruising is the all inclusive um, aspect of it. You you already have so much food, entertainment, accommodations um, included in your price. I know everything has the possibility to be more like you could spend more on on specialty dining or you know you could buy extra excursions or things on the on the ship but for the most part when you pay your <laughs> you pay your fare <laughs> you're set um and always um Lori says oh you wanted to be a flight attendant yeah i think a lot of people want to be flight attendants that would be a cool i think it's a cool job i don't know now when i was growing up like i remember going to the airport just to watch just to watch flights take off we would do that sometimes um or you would go if you somebody was getting picked up or dropped off you would go and it was like an outing you know it was an event or if you were lucky enough to be on a flight, it was, you know, a big deal. And you, everybody was really dressed up and it was just this, it was an event. Now it's pretty much <laughs> load them in and move them out. <laughs> um, the flight, the, the, 
the airplanes have gotten bigger, but the seats have gotten smaller and you're crammed in and you're trying to trying to get there. And people are not very pleasant these days, <laughs> especially when they're tired or they've been delayed or, you know, all the things that have been going wrong lately on flights. So I don't know if it's still fun to be a flight attendant, except for the the travel perks. I hope most flight attendants <laughs> like their jobs, but I don't know. <laughs> it used to seem way, way, way more glamorous than I think it actually is. Um, many cruises and only one paid specialty restaurant. Oh, okay. So you guys prefer the main dining room or do you do the, um, the buffet? Um, Lori, what do you guys do? do? I, I've done, um, I guess I've only done a couple of the, I'm trying to think with the specialty restaurants. It's usually the sushi restaurant cause I, I like sushi. So I, I will pay for that. Um, the, the, Hibachi too. I've done that. Um, I wanted to do um, one of the Italian restaurants, but I haven't done that yet. Um, oh, let's see. I don't recognize this name. Not sure who. I, sorry, I can't see the whole. Whoops. Not sure what's cooking. Hey, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Um, ha how about the cat that was running during takeoff? What? <laughs> what cat that was running during takeoff? Is that something that was on the news? Hubby prefers the buffet. This is why I don't put, sorry guys, you know, I'm not good at that. Um, you probably prefers the the buffet. I like the main dining room. Um, yeah, I like. Okay, so when I'm on the cruise, <laughs> but in general, if I'm on vacation, I want to be waited on. <laughs> I know I do the cooking thing here sometimes on Mondays, but I don't want to. I don't want to feel like I'm doing work. <laughs> I don't want to cook. <laughs> I feel like I'm cooking. Um, I know you don't feel you're not cooking at the at the buffet, but I do feel like it's you know it's a little more work. Um, so it 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 can be convenient, um, and the, the food is very good. I'm not com not complaining about that. But if I have the choice and we have the time and not rushing off to something else, I I do prefer um, going to the main dining room. Um, but I know people like the buffet a lot. Um, today's news and also a standard poodle not in the cage. Oh, on a <laughs> a standard poodle was allowed on the flight, not in the cage, or were they in um, supposed to be in the in the cage, but they were loose in the um, I don't want to say cargo, but you know what I'm saying in that area. A standard poodle was big. <laughs> Had his own seat. <laughs> Is that a thing now? You can just pay for the seat for your pet <laughs> on a flight. Oh man. Well, uh, yeah. I'm not. I don't. I like. I, we had a dog. Our dog passed away around Christmas time, but I um, am not one who feels like I have to bring my dog or felt like we had to bring. A, oh, okay, it was a therapy dog. Okay, that's a whole that's a whole other controversy, Lori. <laughs> Every animal can be a therapy animal, apparently these days. Uh, uh, an actual service dog of course no problem um but just because you can't separate yourself from your animal might be a problem for everybody else around you so huh i didn't know that they could have their their own seat interesting <laughs> that is interesting okay so lori wanted to be a flight attendant did anybody think of anybody want to work on a cruise ship or would you want to work on a cruise ship now? Could you do it? 
I think they work some long hours, long shifts, um, long times away from home. I think the pay is okay <laughs> and probably really good from some, you know, depending on where in the, you know, what country people are um, from <clears throat> and they make most, I won't say most, but lots of the jobs um, they earn um, tips as well, but I don't know. Could you, could you actually do it? Could you actually work on a cruise ship as a crew member? Um, yes, I don't want to be seated by a therapy lizard. <laughs> Me either. I, that's like, you know, snakes on a plane. Nobody wants that. <laughs> I, I I agree, Lori. I don't want to be seated by a by a next to a therapy lizard. <laughs> you couldn't work work those long hours. Yeah, don't they work long hours? They work long hours, and and you know, obviously, lots of days um, in a row before they can have time off or day off. Um, <laughs> Not sure what's going. No thanks. I'm an auctioneer, and I don't even want to do that anymore. <laughs> ah, so, do you enjoy? First of all, are you are you a cruiser? Do you enjoy just the peace and quiet, um, or or, or do you want to be in the action? I, I don't know. I imagine auctioneers need to be. <laughs> but you're like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I think that's funny. Yeah, but I, I, you, some days you don't want to do your, your regular job on land. I don't know why you would want to take it on the high seas, but <laughs> I think that's a fair point. Um, okay, so that's, I thought that was a, thought that was a really interesting idea and i guess we'll have to see if that becomes the new thing you know if people are starting to request more and more space so they can work um while they're on the ship um i don't know i just can't imagine I, I, I can't imagine what jobs um you can do um without being distracted by everything else that's going on. But I guess if you're like super focused and you're like, I have to get this done and just give me a, give me a space. Um, never been on a cruise. Oh, is that something that you're interested in trying at some point? Well, just say vacation in, in general. If you're, if you're away on vacation, you get a, you get a break, you get time off from work or, you know, you just commit to being able to go somewhere, do something different. Do you want a designated spot so that you can set up your work? Um, Lori says she's all, you only, I only work three days a week and still play hooky. <laughs> yeah, that would not, that would not work out well, would it, Lori? They, they, they know where you, where to find you on a cruise ship. Just go bang down your cabin door. <laughs> and say, uh, see you at work. <laughs> yes, take a cruise if you are able to, but yeah, they, they, they can be addictive. Um, you, if you, once you, once you get the cruise bug, you want to do another one and another one and another one. Hi, Sam. How are you? Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Is we're just chatting about cruises and whether or not you would like to have a designated workspace on a cruise ship so that you could cruise too. You like, I like gloves. Okay, not sure, not sure what's cooking. <laughs> um, okay, so Lori's seeing animals as therapy animals riding along on the on uh, airplanes um what else we're talking about the 
being able to set up shop on the cruise ship. There was another article that I thought was Max was five in one year, now back to three. Oh, wow. Yes, that sounds like an awesome goal. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm at two right now. I'm trying to get to three. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, now, this one is more, a little more serious. And maybe you guys who have been on cruises will have seen something like this before. I, luckily, I have not seen anyone actually um, have a, a medical emergency um, on a cruise ship. I know they always make a point of telling you where the um, the infirmary is on, on the ships in case you do have a, an issue that you need to see see a doctor or nurse about. Um, but I don't even, and I always say that I'm going to go and see it just to see it. But I have it. And luckily we haven't ever really needed to, but this article in USA Today is talking about what happens if you need to be medically evacuated from a cruise. Um, not sure what's cooking. I think it would be fun, especially to Alaska. Yeah. Alaska looks beautiful. I've not cruised to Alaska yet. It's on the list. <laughs> it's on the list. My family members that are on the chat have been not as excited about it as I have been. They're like, we didn't say we were going to Alaska. <laughs> but it does look, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. You should, if you can get there, go and check it out. Um, so I guess the the Coast Guard had to uh, airlift four passengers from three different ships off the coast of California over the weekend. Um, the air crews evacuated the Carnival Cruise Line and Princess Cruise Line passengers over a 24-hour period that started Friday night because the travel travelers suffered um, from various ailments. So my question is, um, have you ever seen that happen on any of your cruises where someone unfortunately had to be medically evacuated from a ship? I would think that would be pretty traumatic, obviously for the people who were hurt, but just as a passenger to see that <clears throat> your brother is a mountain man. Oh, okay. So that that would be the draw to go to Alaska to see them. At, oh, in Alaska. OK. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Um, I would like to see the glaciers as they are, I guess, slowly melting. So we're not slowly, quickly melting, I should say. Um, and to see the mountains, I hear people talking about the lumberjack shows and the the um, Sled dogs, um, you can go and go and see that how they're raised and trained and all of that. Uh, so the scenery is beautiful from what I understand, but the uh, the things to do um, are pretty cool too and different than what you are able to do when you cruise to um, like the Caribbean. Totally different set of things. Um, Lori says you haven't seen an emergency, but have had all the stabilizers go out. Oh, Lori, I'm going to be queasy just thinking about that. And the majority of people sick, <laughs> bar bags on the handrails and crackers instead of chocolates on the pillows. Oh. <laughs> I know I brought it up, but. I don't think they would medevac me off for that situation, but I think I would be screaming, get me out of here. That sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. Um, and for those who, who haven't um, been on the big cruise ships, those stabilizers um, are like they imply, imply, the name implies they're meant to help control the rocking with the ocean <laughs> so you're not so the passengers don't feel the motion of the ocean quite as much 
<laughs> um, and people who don't suffer from motion sickness kind of go, oh, you'll be fine. You, they have the big ships have the stabilizers on them now, and that's true. It is much better, much better with the stabilizers um, on, but there are still times when I feel it. If you're prone to motion sickness, you're gonna feel it. So prone to motion sickness and the stabilizers are out. Yeah. <laughs> I know I love to cruise, but uh that might that that might be a a game changer that might end this uh <laughs> cruise vlogging career here. <laughs> That sounds horrible. That sounds horrible. So <laughs> I'm afraid to even read this, Lori. It sounds like it's going to be terrible. One guy puked in his slot machine back when you still use coins. So he was. <laughs> Quite disgusting. Quite disgusting. Man. Was he that dedicated? <laughs> that dedicated to the machine, like it's gonna pay out big, or too afraid to <laughs> to move. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be much better trying to walk out of the casino to to another destination if you're you're feeling it that bad and and <laughs> puking. True addicted gambler. Okay. Uh, yeah, that have to be quite the jackpot to make that okay. <laughs> to make that okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, Lori. <laughs> no, that's gross. That is so gross. <laughs> Even my family members aren't even talking anymore. I don't know. They might leave me alone. <laughs> they might. They would leave me at that point. I hope not, but <laughs> they might. <laughs> I can't say I blame them. That's oh, that's terrible. Okay. So, <laughs> on a more serious note, uh, I guess these people were had to be air airlifted because of. Um, stroke-like symptoms. Um, the majestic princess, the carnival panorama, and the carnival spirit were the ships that these folks were on. I know it was off the coast of California. I assume they were going down to Mexico, but I don't. It doesn't say, and I don't know if that was. Yeah, I don't know why that's kind of a, that seems like a strange coincidence that so many people needed to be evacuated off of different cruise lines or in a 48 hour period, but with similar, <clears throat> excuse me, similar symptoms. Um, doctors on board can prescribe medications to be dispensed and taken while on the ship and treat serious medical issues until passengers improve or as a stopgap measure until a passenger can be brought ashore, depending on the situation. Uh, for example, in the case of a heart attack, they can give patients, um, I don't know how to pronounce that, throm thrombolytics or clot busting drugs on board until they can get them to a cardiac cath, cath lab, which um, the vessel doesn't have. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad to know that there there's a doctor on board for for that, but I guess it happens more often than we are aware of that people have to be medevaced off. Sorry, but just as funny as the Elvis impersonator on the same cruise, <laughs> needless to say, the most memorable cruise <laughs> parked next to a charter cruise for Judas Penny Labs. <laughs> Many laughs, Lori. I don't know how long ago this was, but it is still entertaining. 
The stories are very entertaining. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is still talking about uh, the medical evacuations. 1989. Oh, the, well, that was crazy times anyway, huh? <laughs> 88 88. <laughs> Fun, fun times in the 80s. Yeah, I've never heard of, the, I, they probably still still have them on select cruises, but I haven't heard of the, the, nude, the nude cruise. <laughs> um, okay, there was one other article that I was kind of looking at, like, okay, this is what's happening in cruise news, as they say. Um, Okay, I guess there was there was another rumor going around about Carnival. <clears throat> excuse me, going to change the requirements for um, the um, documentation you need to bring on in order to to sail with them. Um, Carnival confirms documentation requirements after rumors. Carnival Cruise Line has addressed rumors about passport requirements on all Carnival sailings for 2024 and beyond. Um, persistent rumors on social media have prompted Carnival Cruise Line to confirm documentation requirements for cruise travelers. This is specifically for round trip sailings from US home ports and whether or not passports are required or will soon be required by the cruise line. Um, I hadn't, I mean, there's, there's always some talk about something that, the cruise ships are going to do different. Like I was just talking about with the, with the uh, being able to work on board. But again, Carnival Cruise Line, um, my mom and her friend were invited to visit the ship. Back then you could visit a ship. Yes. Oh, like visit, <clears throat> excuse me, to see, see you all sail off. Yeah. There used to be the time where they would say, you know, it was like a last call for you to 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 disembark if you were not um, staying on the sail. Yeah, those days are those days are over, huh? I'm guessing that was like a 9/11 change or a change after 9/11, um, where they stopped doing, stopped letting you go on like that. I know you used to be able. I've gone a couple times to um, tour a newer ship, um, like with my travel agent. And then you could, you know, obviously go, you go on, you toured, and then I can't remember what time they had you, <clears throat> excuse me, in the tour and get off so that the passengers um, could settle in for the sail away. But yeah, that would have been, I'm sure that was fun. Or it might have been like, oh, I wish I could stay. But that probably was fun to actually go on in um and and see what was happening, see the ship a little bit, and then wave. <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> That's like that, like the airports where you used to be able to walk people up to their gates or or meet them at the gate um to if they were coming in. Yeah, can't do that anymore either. You got to be a ticketed passenger only. Um, so again, Carnival Cruise Line brand ambassador John Heald um, spoke in detail about the concern. And he says there are no requirements from us that a par passport will be needed next year, except on specific cruises to places in Europe and other specific locations. Um, however, for Caribbean and all closed loop cruises, there have been no changes set by the U.S. Cust by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. So you may use your birth certificate and government issued ID. I think they probably and I have heard people talking about this in regards to um, Virgin Cruise Line because they they say that it's required, but people who have cruised um, Carnival or Royal Caribbean or, you know, here in the, in the U S 
are like, you don't have to have that. But I think Virgin is wanting everybody to, to have that. So they probably think the people who were asking about it probably think that all of them are going to go that way. Um, Lori says it was a girls cruise and I had to tell them they thought they were gay. Huh? It was a girls cruise and I had to tell them they thought they were gay. You had to tell your parents. Yeah. <laughs> Reminder, it was in the eighties. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the things, the things you have, the stories you have to tell, Lori. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm, but I'm sure that was, um, but you know, the girls, the girls trip and, and now the guys, the guys trips too, were not like the big thing then. I mean, you went, usually there was like, Couples going and maybe one single friend <laughs> or, you know, a bigger group of people and, a, and a, a couple single friends. But every for the most part, people were were coupled up and um, that was the only way you travel. So like now, I think it's interesting that people um, are traveling more and they want the solo um, cabins and um, they don't necessarily people don't necessarily wait for. Um, their whole group of friends to be able to go and do something. If you have the time and you're able to do it and you, you want to go, you, you, you take those, those solo trips. Um, but anyway, at 64, you have plenty of stories. <laughs> well, I appreciate you sharing them, Lori. I appreciate you sharing them. <laughs> it was good fun. <laughs> Well, that is all I have for you guys as far as the the cruise news. <laughs> I thought those were kind of interesting stories and wanted to see what you guys thought, especially about the 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 working on board. But sounds like at least this this group is not not interested. No, thank you. We will go <laughs> on our cruises and have some fun and leave the work behind and just try to uh, disconnect in, um, what was your word, Lori? I think you said recharge, which is, which is right. If you're able to have some downtime, have a vacation, have it be a vacation. So I hope that they don't, you know, start building office spaces. <laughs> office spaces on the cruise line and yes, be in vacation mode, be in vacay mode and start thinking of, you know, sort of business internet packages so that you can work <laughs> online and rent a cubicle and all that kind of stuff. So are you heading out on any, on a cruise anytime soon, Lori? I know you kind of just, you just came back, but you said your max is three now, huh? <laughs> thank you. Thank you for spending this Monday evening with me, Lori. I appreciate it. Thank you guys all for joining me. I thought that was fun. I hope it was food for thought. If nothing else, we got funny stories from Lori to uh, <laughs> help us <laughs> get, th get through the week. <laughs> so as always, thanks again for joining me. If you um, haven't already. Oh, September for your hubby's birthday. Nice, nice. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. <laughs> and um, we should be back next Monday, same time, 7 p.m. And I hope you can join me again. So thanks a lot. Bye, everybody.